come into uh, peritarditis. So in peritarditis, acute phase, uh, as there are phases here. So peritarditis is an important uh, clinical entity that needs to be differentiated with uh, MI because both can present as a chest pain and both can have a ST elevation. So what are the features? So we must remember that peritarditis has phases. So it has acute phase, subacute phase and chronic phase. So in the acute phase, the ECG may mimic like a ST elevation MI, but there are differences. What are the differences? So usually in ST elevation MI, the ST elevation has an upwards convexity. So the ST elevation will be like this in acute MI, but in uh, peritarditis, the ST elevation will be kind of concave upwards. Another difference is that this ST elevation, which is concavity upwards, will be there in multiple leads and which will not follow the regional blood supply. So it can be in the territory of LED as well as RCA as well as LCS. And it will be present in almost, can be present in all the leads except for AVR, where there will be ST depression. The T wave becomes slightly taller, peat and somewhat symmetrical, kind of hyperacute. So uh, they, and the PR elevation is there in AVR. So the PR elevation in AVR is indicator of atrial in involvement or atrial inflammation. And so the axis of the atrial deflection will be towards AVR. So to sum up, in acute phase in peritarditis, you will have a ST elevation with concavity upwards in multiple leads, not following regional territorial supply of the blood vessel. Except in AVR, there will be ST depression there. The T wave is upright. It can be hyperacute. It's not inverted. So usually in acute MI, there is an evolution. You have an initial ST elevation uh, followed and within some hour time, there can be uh, associated T wave inversion at that very moment or uh, the progression of uh, T wave inversion and Q waves. So in acute peritarditis, it doesn't happen this way. There is an ST elevation, but the T waves are upright. And a PR elevation is there in AVR. In the subacute phase, when the pain has settled, the patient is settled, what happens that the ST settles, now the T wave loses the amplitude and becomes isometry and later develop frank inversion. So ST elevation with T wave inversion cannot be seen in a patient of acute peritarditis. The T wave starts to change or invert only when the ST has settled. So this is what you call a subacute phase. So this is important difference. In the chronic phase, what you can have, you can have an inverted T wave or there can be complications of peritarditis in form of peritardial effusion. So it will result into diminished URS amplitude and a potential electrical alternance that beat to beat since the heart is in a fluid bath, it moves with the each beat and your QRS, that's why the QRS amplitude varies beat by beat and you call it a electrical alternance. So these are features of peritarditis. And this is the ECG if you see here, you can see the concavity upwards ST elevation and it is inferior, anterior, pitoidal leads, uh, lateral leads uh, in multiple leads. So that is peritarditis. Additionally features you can see the ST depression in AVR and PR elevation in AVR. So this is acute peritarditis, not ST elevation MI.